Hi folks, this is John with RaisingQuail.net. Uh, wanted to show you the uh, watering system that I built for the quail cages. <clears throat> it's essentially a five gallon pail set above the cages and I plumbed it with half inch PVC. I drilled a hole in the bottom of the five gallon pail, stuck a nipple through there, siliconed it up real good so it don't leak. I put a valve on it and plumbed it to each one of the cages with the half inch pipe. Uh, clamp them down real good so they don't move and uh, inside each cage is one of these watering cups now uh, how the watering cups work got a couple of extras right here is the uh, birds reach in to get the water and when they do that they hit this little yellow valve with their beaks or with their heads and uh, that lets out a little more water what they do is they reach inside to get the last little bit of water that's in the bottom of that cup and uh, inadvertently hit this yellow lever lets out more water these birds aren't smart enough to know that if you hit the lever water comes out they just hit it on their way down to get the last drops that are in the bottom of the cup so this cup doesn't fill up to the top with water there's just a little bit in the bottom and they keep reaching in to get that water in the bottom and it keeps just enough water in there to keep it from going dry these things work great um, they can be disassembled uh, if you need to clean them to get gunked up speaking about getting gunked up you want to keep these things high enough so that the uh, birds have to reach in to get the water you don't want them to um, be able to muck it up you know the birds don't uh, discriminate where they poop so if the cups are low enough they will get all kinds of food and grit and uh, poop in them and then you'll be cleaning them out a lot so try to keep them high enough when I was building these this cup here when I first uh, turned the water on this valve wouldn't close uh, it had some little bits of PVC inside the pipe from when I cut it. I didn't clean it out good enough, so that valve got stuck open and a bunch of water came out. Luckily, it just landed into the poop tray. It didn't make a big mess. I'm glad I saw it before the entire five-gallon pail leaked out. It would have made a giant mess. So I was glad I put that valve on there so I could shut the system down and we uh, take this uh, watering cup apart, clean it out real good, put it back in, and it'll work just fine. So. I strongly suggest you put a valve in for emergencies like that. So that's the system. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them. Thank you much for watching.